satisfy your need for happiness through your own curiosity with the Ranveer Show. Is ODI cricket dead? I think it's the one format that could be put under pressure. Yeah, I mean, I, I enjoyed the World Cup. You know, I think while ever the, the World Cups are being played like we saw last year in India with, again, huge amount of eyeballs, TV likes it, uh, a huge amount of revenue through commerciality. What I think should happen is, yeah, a World Cup ha happens every four years. I think the bilateral series are dead. Mm. You know, I think the, the actual World Cup should happen every four years and leading into that World Cup, probably six months before, that's when you get back into the 50 over bilaterals as, as kind of warm-ups for the World Cup. Um, I guess people say, oh, but how do you qualify? I, I would have a qualification amongst the lesser nations, if you like, or the, the teams not in the top 10. Um, all the top 10 teams should be playing every World Cup. Um, you know, but it, one format has to give. You can't have all these franchise leagues, Test Match Cricket still um, flourishing like we want it to, uh, and 50 over bilateral. There's just, there's just not enough months in the year. So something has to give. And also bilateral T20 series. I don't, I don't think they should happen. You mm. know, I think... You know, the franchise leagues, they, they're almost like the old bilateral series. That's where you're going to pick your players from. They're mm. under a huge amount of pressure. The Pakistan Super League, obviously the IPL, the 100, the Big Bash. There's plenty of cricket there for the selectors to try and find your T20 international players. Um, as I said, something's got to give. And I just think bilateral, one day T20 cricket, got to yeah. give. Um You know, I mean, a dream scenario would be if cricket goes football style. And we have matches on the weekend throughout the year. Mm. And there's some kind of an escapism to turn to throughout the year mm. rather than just these three epic months. Mm. Well, that, 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 that's the IPL. So I, I think to save Test Cricket, I think that Test Cricket should have its own window. Yeah. And it should be, you know, I don't think you could, you could grab six months of the window. There's just too much happening. I think there's going to be a Champions League that's going to arrive. But if we said for, for three months every year, it was just Test Match Cricket time. So the whole world just plays test cricket. Which months depends on where we're going to be playing. So I know people say, oh, yeah, but where are you going to put them? Well, that's for the administrators to, de uh, to decide. But if we get the three months of the year where test cricket is played solely and everyone's just watching test cricket, talking about test match cricket, I just think it's going to be good. So there'll be no franchise leagues. You can't just suddenly nip off and play in Bangladesh or Sri Lanka or nip over to Australia. No, it's test match cricket time. And that, I think, would make a lot of players want to play test match cricket for longer. Mm. You know, do you want three months off? Some might say, yeah, they want three months off and they might decide upon those three months to be off. But I would say the, the majority of the great players in the world would be absolutely committed to those three months playing test match cricket. I think it'd be uh, a really good thing for the game. If you enjoyed today's clip, make sure you check out these curated playlists that we've made especially for you related to the subject that was spoken about in this clip.